Okay, so I'm going to show you how to swatch in the round. I've done this swatch with just a few rows of garter stitch, which I've just knit back and forth. And now I'm going to do the stocking stitch section, which I'm going to have to measure later. So I finished my row here. To go on to the next row, which will be in the round, I'm going to push the stitches back to the other tip of the needle. And then for this first row, I'm going to have to turn the whole piece around like that. Then I'm going to knit into this stitch so that the yarn travels over the back like that and is actually going in a circle. Um, when I do that though, I'm gonna want this piece of yarn to have a lot of slack so that the swatch actually lies flat. So this is how I do it. I do the stitch just like regular, and then I pull on that piece on the back till it's nice and loose and these ones will stretch out and I'll be able to lie flat. And then I just go on and continue knitting the next row. See, so that yarn. Okay, last stitch coming up. When I knit the last stitch, I'm again gonna push my stitches back to the other tip of the needle and then do the same thing again. Start like I'm gonna knit over here. Let my yarn travel across the back here. Knit that first stitch and then I'm going to just pull out the yarn in the back so that piece of yarn is nice and loose so it will lie flat and then continue knitting my next row. So I do that every row to make a stocking stitch um, swatch in the round. As you do this, you might find that these side stitches here get really loose. Um, so you can just tighten them just by pulling on the pieces of yarn that are sticking out on the side there, um, either while you're knitting your project or after it's done.